Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the fully stable build for Havoc OS, and this one is a Christmas update. So, without wasting more time, just let's start with this. So, guys, this Havoc build, which is a Christmas build, is actually unofficial and it's by MDJ. It's a really, he's a really great dev for Redmi Note 5, Redmi 5 Plus Wins, and he has this own kernel based on android p like android p kernel it's from oeo to p so it's like that and you can see performance and everything is smooth like everything is working in this rom there is no such thing it's not working so i guess this is the best rom like now for the redmi 5 plus like till now if i'm reviewing and you can see it comes with the gcam pre-built so yeah i'm going to explain every feature and all stuff in this havoc os comes with pixel launcher you can see we have all of the stuff like you can see this long press actions and you can also have this actions and dialer and all stuff see google now feed and yeah you can customize then you have home settings and you can see we have your settings notification dots at a glance icon to home screen display google app suggestions change icon shape and about so this is a like pixel launcher and it's a pure pixel launcher not any like Maybe the rootless one is... Then one thing in this unofficial build is that we get gapps pre-built. So no need to flash external gapps like from like a different zip. So the gapps are pre-built. So just need to flash the ROM. And you can see we have this beast by MDJ kernel which is a superb kernel built into this ROM. And like I don't know what. But you can see here in this uh, like December Christmas update. We get this new Havoc OS version info. You can see build date, build type device maintainer so this is an unofficial build so it, the maintainer is like you can see in this special christmas update we get this one plus like dashboard settings dashboard and you can see the icons only on the settings dashboard are like one plus so these all configurations are in havoc settings first let's start with the status bar and you can see we get a lot and lot of stuff breathing sms breathing miss calls breathing voicemail battery then network traffic then status bar icons we have the volte icon as you can see uh, let me just uh, remove the airplane mode you will see the Volte icon you can see this is the old Volte icon from Oreo so they are using still that and we also have the 4G icon then show data disable icon and a lot of stuff like that then we get the quick settings and you can see we have the quick settings customization all like similar to ROMs but a lot of additions in this one and then you have themes UI style background color notification color so you can change that to accent color night mode quick setter quick settings header like this thing up there you can change its color like if I set it to light gray I can see oh, wait the header is light gray so that's the header and black is the one which I like then I have the quick setting style style and there are a lot of styles you can see so let's try mountain and when it applies the status bar will like the system UI will respond and you can see this is how the moderns and like various like you all have oreo ninja ink drop and a lot of and lot of stuff but i always love the default one but if you want to be different like if you want to show off some like different quick settings and all then you can use some other mods then you have the font manager finally we have the font manager and Google Sans is already the default one, so no need to worry about that. Then we have this TPI and all stuff. Rounded corner, then the like you can see here you can set uh, rounded uh, for one plus, like you can see round one plus round accent. Oreo, and you can also set Oreo dashboard like for the settings. Here we have ambient display. Then we get into the screen, smart pixels, and screen stabilization. Into buttons, we get the power menu, and you can see you can access, like enable them or not. Also, the advanced power menu. Then, volume rockers, you can see volume rockers, you can just adjust or enable these stuff. And if you want to disable, it's already disabled at first, so you can only choose what you want. So, if I just want ring and notification, you can see I get this three stuff. So, this is how it is and with full and having it on the left side looks like it looks great and having all of the controls in one then we go into navigation bar and this is the navigation stuff you can see navigation smart bar fling 
then into the gestures you can select system gestures and here we have the swipe up on home button which you can disable and get your normal work button so like the normal navbar then we have swipe gestures and also the swipe up gestures from the one plus or the MOE, I don't know then we have the notifications notification stuff like vibrations on call connect call waiting disconnect or notifications and then we go into animation so animation is like some old shit so going into system now we also have the privacy guard so you can block app permissions so you can turn on privacy guard for youtube and maybe maps so yeah you can select your apps and also we have cpu info burn in protection it's mostly for the amulet devices then here are some IME settings like the keyboard settings battery saving stuff like doors and all set and then some miscellaneous stuff like this stuff is uh, like unknown like where to put the uh, like developer no it doesn't know so you yeah. know and that's for the havoc settings and i have already set havoc and you can see it's running really I'll forward great. tell you that we get this christmas special wallpaper like you can see it resembles christmas so this is the christmas special havoc as a wallpaper and it maybe changes every update because i'm seeing like last three two updates the wallpaper, default wallpaper is changing so maybe it's according to season or something like that it's like varying on what day it is the source is updated and lastly we have camera to api enabled and also gcam pre-built so for gcam pre-built you need g apps and of course g apps are pre-built so you can see gcam this one fully works like i've tested everything i haven't tested slow motion and shit but maybe it will work yes it's working so slow motion everything is working so slow motion was the only thing i haven't tested then panorama works water speed and all shit works then also in the front you can see everything is working oh that flash okay so let me like disable the flash off okay good and okay let's check here yes here also everything works slow motion i don't know if it works or not okay so it's not in the front so it's just an option for the uh, back camera so yeah nothing else uh, like this is a fully working gcam so yeah you can click some pictures and upload portrait videos. and finally about the performance smoothness battery performance and smoothness is top notch pubg playing is really great like it's really smooth and you can see it works really great so pubg playing is really awesome i liked playing pubg on this rom like like in usb extended and the last three android build it was lagging a bit but in the new builds it's working i hope the usb extended build will be also fine the latest one which i'll be reviewing if it has some special options and yeah for gaming battery everything i recommend this rom my battery may be a little bit like off a drain from ROS latest and the C Android which I'm going to review in future. So yeah, that's it for the fair review and I hope you guys have liked this review. And if you guys liked it, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Also subscribe to my channel. Here it is for more videos. And if you want to watch the playlist of Redmi 5 Plus, some old videos and new, you have the playlist in the i button so you can watch a lot of videos on the redmi 5 plus and if you want more videos on this channel according to various devices then subscribe and just suggest something i am not out of idea ideas but yeah i have a lot of videos to make on also if you suggest then i will be busy making videos so yeah bye bye and i will be seeing guys in the next video bye, -bye.